Hey, my name's Nat. Let's see what's making news. Scientists say the sea ice levels around Antarctica are at their lowest point in observational history, and they're worried it might not recover. Here's Josh. When you think of Antarctica, you probably think of lots and lots of ice. But now, scientists say that ice is melting at rates we've never seen before. You see, the sea ice around Antarctica is constantly changing. In summer, it's not unusual for it to melt a little bit, but then in winter, it usually builds back up again a little bit like this. But experts say this year, things are different because for the first time, the sea ice hasn't recovered like it should. It may be that next winter it'll come back. We can hope. I don't know that it will. Experts say it's a big problem because sea ice is a really important part of our planet. From giving animals like penguins and seals a place to live to keeping the earth cool. If there's less ice, then the sunlight that hits the ocean surface is absorbed instead of being reflected out into space. And so that accelerates the warming and that warmth then gets carried around to the rest of the world. So what's causing the change? Well, scientists are scrambling to try to figure that out. Some say it could be a one-off event, while others think it's more likely that climate change is responsible. Either way, they say it's a worrying glimpse into what the world could look like as things continue to heat up. It's time to say goodbye to Twitter. <laughs> oh, and hello to X. That's right, Elon Musk says he's rebranding the social media platform, which means the name Twitter and the blue little bird logo are headed for the chopping block. In its place will be x.com and this new logo, which, <laughs> surprise, surprise, is also an X. Something tells me he's a big fan of Xs. Australia has retained the ashes, thanks to a bit of help from some bad weather. The fourth test, which England was dominating, was washed out and called a draw on its final day. It means we'll take our unbeatable 2-1 lead into the final test on Thursday and hold on to the urn for the next couple of years. 13-year-old Aussie skateboarder Arissa True has just won gold at the X Games. She also recently made history as the first female in the world to master one of skateboarding's most difficult tricks. Kale caught up with her to find out what it was like. Arissa, how are you going? Take me back to the start. How long have you been skating for? Well, I started skateboarding when I was eight years old. And I started because I used to surf a lot and one year it got too cold in the water. So we basically just went to land. I think the coolest thing that's happened is me landing the 720 in competition because I've been working on it for a little bit and it's a really hard trick. Oh. Oh. For those that don't know, what is a 720 in skateboarding? A 720 is when you come up the ramp backwards and spin two 360s in the air and come back down forward on your board. I didn't really realise I landed it till I went to the other side and all like the skaters around me just came and hugged me and congratulated me. What advice do you have for any kids who want to get into skating? Just give it a go because you never know what will happen. A helmet and like skate pads is a really good idea because it really brings your confidence level up and that's what helps me. Now it's time for some head turning stories that are so head turning you'll want to turn your head. <laughs> First up to the Bahamas, where French freediver Arnaud Girard has broken the world record for the deepest freedive ever in bifins. It took Arnaud nearly four minutes to reach the 122 metre mark and resurface, which is pretty impressive because freedivers don't use oxygen tanks. They just have to hold their breath. Now to Florida in the US and an update on these bunny rabbits we told you about last week. They've been running wild after a breeder set them loose illegally. But now rescue groups have been helping to catch the rabbits and find them new homes. The more fosters we have, the more rabbits we can help with. That's going to make the biggest difference. And finally to Turkey Air, where a farmer has gone viral for this video of her cow posing for a selfie. The cow's owner says she saw a video of a golden retriever doing the same thing and thought, hey, why can't I train my cows to do that? Come on, selfie. Come on. Oh, still got a long way to go with that one. That's what I've got time for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> These photos, not good.